three bars in 19. They don't write more than three bars, no more than four dots. So that, that's why 20 is not a four bars. Okay? So three bars, four dots, is the top. So one with a zero is 20. So everything on this level is a 20. One is a 20, two is a 40, three is a 60, four is a 90. Okay? Five twenties, 100 with a zero. 200, 300, 19 twenties, 380, 19 down the bottom. Between this and this we can write from one into 399. Because if we need to write four hundreds, is a one that, <coughs> which is 20 times 20, four hundreds. One is a four hundreds. One with a zero, zero, four hundreds. Two, eight hundreds, three, twelve hundreds, four, sixteen hundreds. <coughs> Five, four hundreds, two thousand. Two thousand, four thousand, 6,000 total, 7,600. We can write between 1 through 7,999. We need to write 8,000. 1, 20 cubed is equal to 8,000. 20 times 20 times 20. 1, 0, 0, 0, 3 shells, 0. Okay, three zeros and one is an 8,000. One more level on top. 8,000 times 20, 160,000. One more level on top. 3.2 millions. One dot. That's in bars. All right? Okay. The small numbers first. We need to write five hundreds. All right, five hundreds is something like this. One dot, one bar, and zero. This is five hundreds. One times four hundreds, five twenty is a hundred, zero down the bottom. Total, five hundreds. From the top to the bottom, ever. All right, one thousand, two four hundreds, ten twenties, and zero. 1,000. Okay? All right. 1,725. Okay, 1,700. 1,200. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, Seventeen hundred twenty-five. <laughs> That's the right. How do my A's are right? I'm gonna show y'all how. Okay, I how you can read it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's, That's it. Yeah, you boy. Okay, so you gonna make your five dollar paparazzi sign like that? Yep. <laughs> With dots. <laughs> okay. Okay. Five hundreds. Eight 
Stop you got it. Stop touching me. I didn't <laughs> it's okay. I'll let you use my paper. <laughs> she needs some paper so I can cheat. <laughs> Princess, oh. what is this? A teddy bear. Teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Here's your cup, okay? You should finish. All right. All right. Teddy bear. He talked to the monk and he said, Anywhere you find those books, take the books away from people. So they brought the books to the monastery and this bishop, he decided to burn them up. <laughs> so the books get burned. Three that he brought to Europe, they're going to prove that they might worship evil. Those are the only ones that is still alive. One in Dresden, Germany. Wow. 1945, when the Russians get in on Germany. In the month of April, the Russians in the block bomb Dresden to open the gate to the Russians. That was the end of the Second War. The war ended on May. On April, the Russians and the block they bombed Dresden. They get into Germany. A Russian soldier, Mikhail Yurev Norosov, he get in on the library of Dresden. The library was on fire. But uh, among the books that he saved to avoid it on fire, he found one of those Mayan books mm. and a manuscript of the bishop. Later, the Museum de Louvre, on the 60s, one of my teachers, he just told me, the Louvre has an, uh, an a Mayan book, because on the 60s, they developed that they have it on a book. Mm. I came into the Louvre last year, and I came in into the office, just right into the loop. You can imagine you know, when I just show up into the office, was a lady in the reception. And I came in, I just get ready with my French. I came in and I say, Bonjour. And the lady, Bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> and then my French finish. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Do you speak English or Spanish? She says, English. All right. How can I help you? All right. And I said, Listen, I'm looking, and if this is possible, if may I see. My teacher told me that the Louvre has an Amaya book. She told me, Amaya book? Yes, Amaya book. She just wrote on the computer, Amaya book, and says, maybe you might say Maya Codex. Correct. And she, she showed up in a picture on the screen. This one. May I see this one? She checked. Yes, we have this one. 
But if you don't see this one, first you need a permission, a special one from your government. Mm. Three months in advance. Wow. And a copy of your investigation, your research, and your ID as a master or doctor on archaeology, anthropology, or epigraphy. Wow. My goodness, how much we got? <laughs> oh, sir, is that enough? <laughs> Gotta have one to look at that. Book. But I just only want to know if you have it. Yes, we have it. But just see, if you're gonna see this one, you need, you're gonna show us all this. Mm -hmm. My goodness, sorry. I just. What date is this? I couldn't see. I saw it only on the screen, okay. on the computer. You don't know that. But they put one. <laughs> the one that I saw, it was what the one that? on the Museum del Prado, <laughs> on Madrid, Spain. Shout. That's the one that is still. It's exhibit. It is right in the Del Prado Museum. Okay? So three is still on Europe. Do it in Germany. Hold it back. Museum de Louvre and Museum del Prado. Made up of this material. Bark from a local fig. Little paper with this kind of like and this kind of paper. Okay? But just we're gonna come to the bangers. Okay? First, you're gonna follow Augusto. We're gonna come to use the bangers. I'm gonna go ahead and get a ticket, okay? But then also, in there, in the in this little commercial area of Tulum, right now it's so commercial. So the stuff that you're gonna see in Playa del Carmen, you're gonna see like a right here in Tulum. Now it's so commercial. We're gonna find on the Starbucks in Tulum. The Starbucks. The Starbucks of right here. Wow. Mexican American Mayan sandwiches by Subway. <laughs> Mexican American Mayan. American made up, the broth became from America. Mexican because now those were made in Mexico. And Mayan because instead of chicken, they put iguana. Okay? <laughs> Delicious, they like chicken. Okay? He's in the Subway. Ice cream? Used to be Dairy Queen. Now it is like it is Hagen does ice creams in there. Okay? Supposedly it was coming last year McDonald's. They stopped McDonald's. But it's, it's a Starbucks, it's a subway and a Hagen does. But the commercial area, you're gonna see some guys, some of them with headdresses. Okay? Headdresses and uh, paint on the body. Eventually, they were, they they just bring two kind of snakes. One day they bring the boa constrictor, or they brought the uh, Alpine python. Okay. okay. It's just hey, let me go take a picture with us. They just come in all around you. Okay. Only you gotta keep in mind that that picture gonna cost around ten dollars. Okay. Picture with those guys. Some of them, they came with iguanas, big iguanas. Hey, amigo, take a picture with iguana. Hold my baby, don't bite. Three or four pictures for five dollars. Holding iguana. <laughs> Another one with a monkey. Little monkey, okay? From the uh, Argentinians and, and the Amazonian, okay? Little monkey. Hey, amigo, take a picture with a Ricky Martin. Monkey. Okay? <laughs> right on your shoulder, above the head. A Ricky Monkey. Picture with a monkey. Ten dollars picture. Right? Two can be Also the two can right here on your arm. A few dollars for that picture. Alright? On the commercial area. So commercial. People used to get to Mexico, they buy the Mexican sombrero, the Mexican hot. Right? Once somebody drew a little mouse. In Hollywood, with a head in a bunch of little ones, yee, pa yee, pa yee, pa yee, yee, riding all over, right? Speedy Remember this one? The Speedy Gonzalez? <laughs> all right. Then people keep in looking for those Speedy Gonzalez. They buy the hat and they buy the poncho. Now the ponchos, wooden carvings, it says, <laughs> the wooden carvings right on top says, Doilers, Junkies, or says Jets, or says, Ravens, 49ers, Green Bay Packers, Steelers, 
in the ponchos or the wooden carvings. Okay? All over you're gonna see same stuff. Okay? That's the commercial area. Okay. In Tulum, it's nothing. As soon as we start the bus, we're gonna walk to Baños. You're gonna follow Augusto. Augusto's gonna take you then to the trolley. We're gonna jump a little tram. They're gonna take us from the commercial area into the tickets booth. All right? In there, I'm gonna be waiting for you to take you inside the loop to give you the lecture. Okay? Gotcha. Okay. After the lecture and before we come back to Playa del Carmen. So, maybe I'll like uh, some pictures and then we come back to the commercial area. In the commercial area, there is a guy, a Maya man, that he can translate for you something like this. Any important date in your life, okay? Became on a box like this, easy to carry, to take back home, okay? Somebody wanna make it like a, I'm gonna make it like a, it was a wedding date, right? My wedding date, my wedding anniversary. And after give me the date, both names, I give it to Rafael, and he can do for you something like this, with the whole explanation, all that, in English, of course. Something more personal, working with a silver Mexico 950, not a Mexican silver 925, 950. Using this alphabet that the division pretend to develop. She's right in there, not made in China. Right in there, they were, in the little workshop, they make those ones. Like a little charms with your name. A little figure with a sun shade. <coughs> sun shade with the one symbol in the middle, representing your name. It looks such a beautiful. The one that I have, I put my name on top and my three kids on this charm. Okay? To give you an idea, like a middle age silver is on this color. But just right behind you can the red. Mexico 950. Mexican silver. Something like this, Rafael. They can make for you. Like uh, this tiny one that if it one symbol, little charm with a one symbol, it costs forty dollars. With a two symbol forty four. With a three forty eight, with a four fifty two dollars. Believe me, many people they paid a lot of money, more than one hundred dollars for swimming with the dolphins. <laughs> it's a nice experience. Let me show you. I just is it only a memory? Something like this is forever. It's metal, right? But just something like this, Rafael, he can make. They work pretty fast and pretty good. All right, but just something like this, like uh, right by the commercial area, like uh, after the touring, after the guided tour. Like uh, now you have an idea. The sunshade goes around like uh, 48, 49 dollars. The sunshade, okay. Somebody told me and I want to make my, I want to make by Raphael, my trick is same like you, three symbols, okay? You give me the letters you want to put on that, I come back to Raphael, we meet us on the subway, I take you to them to pick them up, you just pay for Pesos, dollars, or even a plastic or fantastico. <laughs> and you know what is fantastic plastic, right? So you're going to save me in a plastic, oh, plastic, plastic, plastic. 